All right, this video is looking at breakfast foods. We're gonna do a whole little food series because really if you're traveling to Tanzania, you're obviously going to be eating. Um, so it's good to know the names of the food that you're gonna be eating. And also if you're traveling even in Kenya or some other places, some of these words might come in handy. And really, who doesn't enjoy food? So here we go, we'll start with breakfast. Our next videos we'll look at some market foods, we'll look at snacks. We'll try to cover most of the basic ones. Um, let's get started. So breakfast foods, one of the most common one is mandazi, mandazi. That's plural for donuts. If you take away the M-A, you have andazi, andazi. That would be one, but most commonly you're gonna see it written mandazi and it stands for donuts. It's not really like Robin's Donuts or Tim Hortons or Dunkin' Donuts, whatever you would normally expect. It's just a dough ball that's been fried, but it tastes fairly good. I'm sure you'll try it when you're here. Mandazi donuts. Vitumbua. Vitumbua. If there's just one, we take away the V and we write K, it becomes Kitumbua. But normally you're gonna have more than one and they'll be selling them as more than one, so they'll have Vitumbua. It's like a rice flour mixed in with water, maybe some milk, I'm not sure what else. They fry it up over the charcoal with some oil and it turns into kind of a little round patty. So I don't think there's an English word for it, but it's something like a rice cake, but not like rice cakes that you would have at the store. It's using rice flour instead of puffed rice. So Vitumbua, they're quite good. Vitumbua. Chapati. Chapati, I'm sure you've heard before, it's that flatbread, so it's rolled out, it's cooked over the charcoal stove with a little bit of oil, and it's like a soft taco shell. I'm sure you've heard of chapati before, it's from the Indian food, um, but it's also found in Tanzania. Chapati. Chai is the word for tea. Um, again, I think Indian influence or Arabic influence, obviously people know chai. Um, Chai is just the standard word for tea, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's with milk and different spices. It would just be regular tea, could be referred to as chai. Then in the stores or in the restaurants, sorry, you'll see chai ya rangi. Chai ya rangi. That means black tea. If you're literally going to translate it, it would be tea of color but what we would say, black tea. So that's gonna be your black tea. Most times the sugar's already gonna be added and usually it's a lot of sugar. Sometimes you can try to get it without, but most commonly they'll have a thermos, chai ya rangi, and that'll already have sugar inside. The other option is chai ya maziwa. Maziwa. Maziwa is milk. So tea of milk, or tea with milk. Chai ya maziwa, emphasis on z. If you just say maziwa, that means milk. Supu, supu is just soup. It's a common breakfast food that either be soup ya mbuzi or soup ya cow, that N apostrophe G-O-M-B word that I don't say very well. But you'll have one of those two soups. It's basically a broth with a couple pieces of meat inside. I'm not a huge fan, but lots of people like it in the morning and maybe they'll have it with a chapati. So supu, you will see written on lots of little hotel, little restaurants, they'll be advertising soup. Mayai, mayai. If I take out the M, I have yai. Yai, sorry, I take out M-A. Yai would be one, mayai would be many. Mayai is eggs. So if you're having eggs for breakfast, they'll say mayai. Sukari. Sukari, emphasis on ka, sukari is sugar. So if you're asking for chaya rangi, na sukari with sugar, na sukari. Blue band, blue band is a product name, but it's commonly known as mar butter or margarine. So instead of saying butter or margarine or having a word for it, they would just refer to it as the product name, which is blue band. Sometimes there's an I at the end, like blue band, I don't know but something along those lines. Um, it's kind of like calling Kleenex, Kleenex, even though that's a product name and it's really a tissue. So blue band would be the word to use for margarine. Jam is less common, but jam is jam. If they have it or if they've heard of it, they'll refer to it as jam. This one I almost forgot because I don't drink it, um, but kahawa, kahawa is coffee. So if you're a coffee drinker, kahawa, kahawa. 
If you want it with milk, na maziwa. If you want it with sugar, na sukari. So there you go. Those are the most common breakfast foods that you will find. Um, practice them. Definitely try them out if you come to Tanzania. Uh, if you have any other words, anything you like to eat or any words about breakfast food that you want to know, write them down below and I'll do my best to give you the answers. Also, as always, check out our website, see what we're doing. If you like what you're seeing here and you'd like to make a donation, that would be fantastic. We would definitely put it to good use here in Tanzania. Thanks for watching.